Good morning guys! I'm officially going for microneedling as you can see um, my scars in the front here and yada yada yada. I'm about to go in and get my face microneedled. Let's go! Okay, so I just got my face microneedled and pretty red. And over here. So over the next couple weeks it's only supposed to get better. They put a numbing cream and did the stabby. I hope I don't scare my kids tonight at work. But she says the redness will go down. I'll vlog in a couple hours to see if the redness does subside. But she did get quite in there. And it seems very holy. All right, now I'm officially home. And I used the air conditioner to cool my face. I'm just sitting in front of the window kind of here. Show you guys. So this is about after an hour. The pain kind of felt it was like a light scratch, but it wasn't an intense scratch. The hardest part was probably the forehead. That probably hurt the most, just because there's not that much cushion. And then she put some serums and things, and then she gave me another thing. It's this phyto corrective gel. So I'm supposed to use it like two to three times per day. But hopefully my scars kind of diminish. That's the main thing. On a scale of like one to 10, pain-wise, I would probably give it like a four. If it was like the forehead, maybe like a six. But it actually wasn't that painful once the numbing cream was applied. There was a couple places where she kind of didn't get quite the numbing cream, like down from below. And I would say that was maybe more of the six area. I'm starting to notice right over here it's starting to peel and then some dryness. I started noticing it mostly on my nose. I'm gonna put a little bit of that uh, Phyto Corrective Gel on it for now. Uh, I don't want to touch it too much. I'd rather have it a natural peel. Alright, day four. I'm starting to peel hardcore right in here. Alright guys, today is day 7 of my face thing. I don't have any makeup other than mascara on. But as you can see, um, in terms of coloration, it's definitely gone down in color. So it's starting to even out. So I'm really excited. So apparently over the next course in a couple weeks, it's supposed to fade and go down even more. guys, it's been one month post since my microneedling treatment. I would have to say that my scars have softened over time, both on my left and my right side. I do have very strong pitted scars and I wish they would go away a little bit quicker, but microneedling was something just a tidge bit more affordable and the downtime for it too pro was a lot sooner to recover. With that being said, yes, I will do this again. I'm actually due for another treatment in October and I'll make another video just based on my microneedling experience and see how that goes. If not, and I don't like the results, maybe like one or two more times, I'm definitely considering Fraxel. Right now, I'm just weighing my options because acne scars sucks if you ever have them. Anywho, I did like the fact that I only had to take one day off downtime versus Fraxel apparently hurts and stings like a bee's knees and also you have to take off one week of work. The cost of, of microneedling was about 250 to 300 so I mean I could afford that every two months when it's due so I'm sure people could save 100 bucks a month. 
extra on the side for whatever. So don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification icon too. That way you can get informed on when my next microneedling thingamabobber is coming. So about maybe a month, but it'll still notify you. All right, bye. Thanks for watching.